basically been a prep day for tomorrow and continuation of let's get this infection out of me. morning everyone Anna here I am just nebulizing I am hooked up to my first IV antibiotic of cefepime for the day and I am sitting here with my knees curled up because I have gas pain but I'm hoping that means things might be moving and I am just doing a little bit of reading and that's my day so far, so I'll see you later. Well, today I've just been basically getting ready for tomorrow and continuing with my IV antibiotics and figuring things out. I washed my hair and braided it so that it would be clean for tomorrow when I go out in public. Um, when I have procedures or surgeries or anything like that done, I like to do my best to have myself as clean as possible. Um, and so I did that. And then I coordinated with my infectious disease specialist, which I actually had to move my appointment on Monday to an earlier time because doctor schedules are always changing um, and then I asked them about culturing the j-tube to see about the infection to see if it's like really in the tube or not and then my brother's laughing so just ignore him if you can hear him because he's crazy um, <laughs> and then I was told to call my surgeon because he was the one who put the order through to the interventional radiology department so i called her and he ended up all working out that they put a new order through that included them culturing the tube but culturing my understanding is like she was saying like the tip or something so i guess like the upper part that's not it doesn't go into my colon but i guess not what's further down because there's a lot of bacteria down there so just to see like what's more up top I don't know I don't know what exactly that's gonna hold but that makes sense to me um, so that settled and then I really need to eat I've been so hungry today and I haven't gone to the bathroom at all didn't go to the bathroom really yesterday it's so frustrating but I'm just right now i'm just trying to see past that and not look at what the weight is on the scale i have to weigh myself every day so we can keep track but um meanwhile i'm going to go eat and i'm going to do a lactate ringer and then i'm going to do my other antibiotic my second um cefepime for the day um I have to stop eating at midnight along with my feeding tube, so I have to stop everything. I don't, I'm like 99% sure they're not gonna give me sedation, but obviously they just wanna, the nurses just want me to not have food in my stomach just in case, which is fine and totally understandable. So it's basically been a prep day for tomorrow and continuation of let's get this infection out of me it is very late i am falling asleep <laughs> i was nebulizing and just leaned back against my pillow closed my eyes and then i'm like okay you can't fall asleep you have to keep breathing first of all well obviously but then i had to go rinse out my mouthpiece with hot water, wash my mouth out. So I'm still awake. It's been kind of a weird night, but um, I am 
finished eating, well, I always finished eating at this time of night, but I'm not hooked up to my feeds, or my feeding tube, um, and I'm about to take my, I was like, I'll just take all my nighttime meds, and then I'm like, if I'm this tired already, it's not good for me to take my sleeping med. Um, it has been a really long day. It has been, um, a good day. Some good friends from church, one of their, um, her daughters, I spent the evening with her. We did makeup. We went, we went out to the store and we went through and we bought makeup and I helped them choose and came back and taught her stuff. And so that was super duper fun, but it was also extremely exhausting. And my body is like, what have you done to me? So there's that. There is a train that has been going on and on and on. And I was like, I'm going to wait a little bit before I talk to you guys because the train is like, I guess you'll hear it in the distance. You guys probably can't. We have a, we have train tracks really close to our house. We have the city center with the police station like a half mile away from our house, not even. And then we have a fire station across the main road, which is, that's less, that's very close. And then a half mile away is a hospital. It's not the hospital I go to, it's a very small hospital, but still. So you kind of get used to like trains and sirens and all the stuff. Okay, we have a family group chat, text message, group chat. It's like the thing, right? Our family, and it's it's great because my sister lives in Chicago, or she doesn't live in Chicago. She's going to Chicago for for school at um, as her senior year, and then my older sister has her own apartment now. Uh, as of January last year, not everyone's in the home anymore, and plus we're also busy with our different schedules. Anyway, it's just been a really great way for us to keep up. We started doing that as our family started coming out of the stone age and actually getting smartphones this past year. Like we finally, as of last month, all have a smartphone. I'm not kidding. And I'm not really ashamed of that fact. I've only had this, I've only had a not dumb phone for, okay, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. This is my, what was that, eighth month? <laughs> You don't need all the fancy things to make things happen, but it's been really awesome to have the ability to have this group chat with my family to just connect more and to laugh and be like, what are you talking about? And then my brother who loves languages and he's He's um, learning Spanish, but he really, like, he's learning, learning it. Like, he really wants to know it, like, fluently. Um, so he's really, really working on it. And he'll just, like, send stuff in Spanish. And then my <laughs> Oh, it's just hilarious, you guys. Sometimes I'm cracking up so badly. I want to just, like, share, like, a screenshot with everyone. But I'm like, maybe that would be rude to the rest of my family. <laughs> Anyway, sometimes I do share some interesting things, so, but that would be either on Instagram or Facebook, which those links are in the comments. Not like I'm trying to promote myself or anything. This video is sponsored by Anna Roper. Thank you for sponsoring Anna Roper. <laughs> You're welcome, Anna Roper. <laughs> you guys, I'm so tired. I need to go to bed. I really need to go to bed. Tomorrow, around 11 a.m., hopefully a little before that, and then I will do my very best to take you along as I'm able. Usually it's like, no pictures allowed, but we still do stuff. I have so many pictures of like pre-op and uh, like just all kinds of stuff in the ER and stuff. You're not supposed to take pictures, but just pretend you're on your phone and just do like a picture or I'll just say like mom get up really quick because I want pictures and I want to document it and so now I'm loving this because I get to like video document too so 
anyway, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. I am strangely... I don't know how I feel about it. It's like, wait, this is really happening? I feel like I had to fight for this for so long and we we weren't sure what what is there something is there something more is there something that we can do what else what could be causing this infection and this might be it so anyway I'm gonna say good night and I'll see you super soon